2025 has been an amazing year for language learners and for language teachers. There are some incredible AI technologies around and many of them are free. I'm going to focus on my favourite free. The first tool is going to deal with grammar. It's a great tool. It will generate quizzes for you, tests for you, give you grammar explanations. The second tool is really useful if you like reading and listening and then checking your understanding. And the last tool that I'm going to look at is the updates in YouTube that a lot of people don't know about. So this is a video packed with ideas both for language teachers and for language students in what some people are calling the golden age of language learning. Really hope you like the video and if you do, please like it, please comment on it. Please, most importantly, join me on my YouTube channel, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, if you can, to give me a few hype points. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you an incredible tool that exists now in Google Gemini, very recent. So go to Google Gemini. If you've got a Google account, you will have a Google Gemini account. Just click on here, open it up, and there's a particular tool that we're gonna look at. The first tool I'm gonna to show you is perhaps one of my favorites. I want you to click on the tools and I want you to choose guided learning. This is fantastic for grammar. Now I'm gonna ask it to set up a grammar exercise for me. So I've asked for a, uh, explain the formation of the past simple in English and can you set up a quiz with 20 questions? My level of English is A2. Now this could be brilliant if you're studying on your own and you wanna study about the past or the present or the future or the conditional or anything. Uh, you can state your level, state the languages. This will work in multiple languages as well. So you don't have to do this just for Spanish. It could be for English, for French. I'm using it for Polish. And if we click on this button here, uh, it's going to do the work for me. Now, I want to make the point I'm using the free tool here. So now I've got an explanation here on the left-hand side, okay, which I can read and look at. Then I can do this quiz. So choose the correct form of to play, all right? So this is very simple because I asked for only A2 level. So I'm gonna played and that gives me some feedback. Go to the next question. Um, so this is gonna be an irregular verb, then when, etc. Now you can change the level, you can change the type of exercise, you can get it to write for you a story in the past and maybe you search for examples of the past from the story. There's lots of ways you can use this technology and I wanna make the point as well that teachers can use this as well because you can make a grammar exercise like the one we've got here and then if you click on the share button, you can share this link with your students. Now your students don't have to have a Google account to do the quiz. When you finish the quiz and you wanna come back again, just close the quiz down, come back onto this window and then ask for something else. Absolutely brilliant tool, completely free. And I'm really using this now almost on a daily basis and it's having a massive help with my Polish occasionally, occasionally it's made one or two small mistakes in Polish, which is a very complicated language, but I'm amazed at how accurate this is now becoming. An example, another thing that I do is, can you make for me a text in the past for a student of A2 level in English? Can you highlight all the examples of the past simple in the text? Can you write the text about doing sports? Click on the button here. It's gonna write the text for me. These types of activities that you can build around whatever it is you're trying to study and perhaps you wanna see examples of that being used in context, absolutely brilliant. Um, obviously, the more knowledge you've got of studying languages on your own, the more useful you're going to find this. But it is a great help if you want to study focus on particular grammar points, etc. One of the ways that I use the study mode is to share a link to a YouTube video and then say, can you give me all the examples of the past in the YouTube video or in my case, a certain case that I want to study in Polish. It will do that really well. And also when you do a quiz afterwards, it will say to you, do you want me to explain a little bit about the mistakes that you're generally making? And it will focus on your mistakes. It's a really, really useful tool and one that I'm using more and more. I'm gonna move on now to another technology that's called Ed Cafe. I think it's my favorite find of the year. It generates fantastic texts 
with the audio, with comprehension questions and with vocabulary. It will do it in multiple languages and it offers a generous free tool. Now, even if you decide to pay for Ed Cafe, it's pretty reasonably priced. And the great thing about Ed Cafe is it has about eight or nine different tools that are useful for us as language learners, like it will turn a text into audio, it will make a quiz around any text, it will make a quiz around a YouTube video, it will also be useful for flashcards, for revision, etc. Let me show you Ed Cafe and show you some of the things that I'm doing with it. I'm using a free account. I do also have a paid account, but if you use the link that I will put in the description in the YouTube video, you can sign up for free and you have a free account. It's quite generous. And if you decide to buy into Ed Cafe, which is not particularly expensive, that link will also give you a 10% discount. Now, if I click on create new, one of the reasons I like this tool so much is there are so many things that I use. I love the slide deck. I love the chatbot for practicing speaking. I love the flashcards for practicing vocabulary. I love the AI speech if I want to turn text into audio. I love the reading activity. That's what we're going to do in a minute. I adore the YouTube quiz. It's very similar to the reading activity, but it works with a YouTube quiz. I really like as well the quizzes. You can make quizzes with any other content like a website or a text, etc. I'm going to look at the reading activity. So we're going to click on here. It's so easy to use. Let's have a quick look. You can make a reading around anything. And remember, this will work in multiple languages. You can either just write in a topic and get the AI to write it. Don't forget to say the level. You can share a text that you've already got or share some vocabulary and write a text around that vocabulary, something that I sometimes do, or you can use a web page. Today, I'm just gonna write in an AI topic, or sorry, not. I'm just gonna write in a topic. I'm gonna tell it my level and it will generate the text for me and the reading comprehension and the vocabulary and the audio. Let me show you. I've asked for a text at B1 level of English and I want this text to be about the impact of the internet on learners and in which ways the internet has impacted on the way that we study. I'm going to use English, but I want to point out this works in many, many languages and I'm using it often to study Polish. I'm going to Scroll down here and just click on this button and it's going to generate the text for me. And it will only take a few seconds. My text is ready. If I want, I can also say how long I want the text from, to be. Notice now also that I can actually just simply edit that text as well. And if I come up to the top here, I can add the audio. So I'm going to click on this button here and I'll choose Stacy and we're now going to add audio so I want I will be able to both listen and read the text. Now this is brilliant for both students studying English and also for teachers if they want to do it with the class in you'll see in a minute how you can share the link once this, the activity is made. Now I'm going to just finish off the activity. Let's just play the audio a quick second and see if it works. The internet has changed the way people learn. For students, it is a powerful tool. I love that, the fact that I can listen and read at the same time. Now, if I come down here underneath and scroll, I can also add vocabulary. So I click on that button now. And what it does is it extracts the difficult words from the text and gives you explanations of those words. And the other thing that I'm going to do now, once I've done that, really important is add some comprehension questions. I'll choose multiple choice. Let's say that I only want five questions just for speed. And I click on generate passage quiz. Now, if you was a student working on your own, you could now just do this activity and see how well you do. Obviously, don't look too much at this here because this is where it's all being generated. But all you need to do once it's finished and you can see it does it right in front of your eyes and notice it gives you a very good explanation. Just click on the save button, give it a name. So we're going to call this one Internet. And then the only thing that you need to do is to access it. So where would you access it? Well, this is the brilliant thing. You click on assign. If you was a student working on your own now, you would just copy that link and 
paste in the link into the browser and do the activity. Or if you were a teacher, you would either share the QR code or share the link. Now let me show you what it looks like as a student. I'm just gonna paste in that link and enter. And here it is, you can see, got the text at the top, you've got the audio, if you scroll down underneath, you've got the vocabulary to help you, and you've got a quiz here. You just put your name in, and then click on Play Quiz, and now you've got the audio on the left with the text, and you can answer the questions, and the brilliant thing is, as a student, if you're working on your own, you get immediate feedback. So this is a great tool, both for students and teachers, and as I've said, what I love about Ed Cafe is not only uh, this particular tool, but the other tools it does, and also how professional everything looks. I only got 20% right. I can go through now and see where I went wrong. Just a super quick break from the video. If you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos, then come over to my website, teachertrainingvideos.com. I specialize in making videos to show teachers and students how to use technology in their language teaching and their language learning. And there's loads of content on the website. Also, if you're a language teacher, think about signing up to the newsletter, as well as getting updated on all the latest videos. There's a free 14-part course where I basically highlight some of the key technologies that we're using in language teaching, and many of the tools that I highlight are completely free. Also, if you were interested in having more training with me, then join me on Patreon. You get free videos every month with no advertising, and you get the chance to meet me online as well for an hour's training. We do an hour's training every month with the Patreon group where we actually work with the technology so you really learn to use them well. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Now everyone loves using YouTube and YouTube is so useful for language learning. I'm just gonna do a search and I'm gonna show you some of the newer features in YouTube and some things that you might not realize. So I'm gonna search for shopping in English, the easy topic that often people wanna learn about. Again, this can be in lots of languages. First of all, I want you to notice that if you come over here for filters, you can filter for videos that are longer or shorter, which is often a good idea. You often don't want to watch very long videos, particularly when you're starting out. So perhaps you're going to look for a video of say four minutes or just four to 20 minutes. Another great trick though, is to click on filters and search for videos that have got subtitles. Now that really helps and you'll notice now that it says subtitles. I'm just going to show you something about those subtitles. If I click here, And if I scroll down underneath, this is the secret, click on the more button. So make sure you click here, just underneath the description, you'll see more, click on that. And what you'll notice is that you should have the option of clicking on show transcript. And now the transcript opens on the right hand side and you've got these timestamps. You can actually turn the timestamps off. If you just click here, you can turn off the timestamps. But now of course you can actually kind of go through and if there's something you don't understand for example you can just copy it and you could open up for example google translate and get a translation so i could go into here let's imagine that i'm polish so i want to write that in english and get the translation into polish okay now I made a video about the many features in Google Translate, like the save, save button, like the magic button that exists. And if you wanna watch that video, I'll put that on the screen now. So these features that exist in Google Translate are really useful. Now, one other thing, if we just play this video, You can actually click on here and jump to any part of the transcript. So for example, if I want to keep repeating a particular sentence, I can just keep clicking on it. Watch this. Now I find that really useful in Polish. If I've got a phrase that I really wanna work on and I wanna go through, then accessing the transcript here on the right-hand side is super, super useful. 
Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please click on the like button because it really helps me. There was another technology that I absolutely loved this year, which is actually part of Google Gemini, and it's the storybook feature. It's fantastic for language learning because you can generate storybooks with pictures, with audio. I really love it. And if you want to learn about that video, I'll put that on the screen now and you can watch that video. Fantastic technology. It really has been a great year for technologies for language uh, teachers and language students. Really hope you liked the video and and thank you very much. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more free videos. Look at all the different menu items at the top of the screen here. If you're a teacher and you want to keep up a little bit more with the work I do, we often organize webinars, online courses, etc. Then sign up to the newsletter. And if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a free 14 part mini video course in using technology in language teaching and nearly everything I suggest is free. If you want to take it a little bit further then think about joining me on Patreon. If you join Patreon you get uh, extra videos every month with no advertising. I just go straight into the training. Lots of ideas about how you can use the technologies in the class with your students and you also get the chance to meet me online once a month for some direct training and that's a real opportunity for you to practice using the technologies with me and finally if you want to go even further uh, join me on my very popular course technologies and approaches to blended hybrid and online teaching i do that in collaboration with nile that is the norwich institute for language education a very prestigious organization in the uk and that course has been running for many years and is very popular. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find useful.